Hey guys, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery down here. I uh, want to talk a little bit today about using these recorded patient presentations. So I've kind of gone through the gamut with um, showing slides in the treatment room to recording these videos. And uh, recently, you've probably heard me talk about going, uh, having them listen to the video, and I, I start it up for them and I leave the room. Uh, basically, they're a captive audience. But what, I, what I've been doing recently and trying something a little bit different is I actually turn it on when I'm there with them and I finish my treatment, uh, my notes. So for example, I had a patient today, they had an ingrown toenail, so I was doing bilateral perinicheas, and then he also had Achilles or Haglins. And so what I did is I, I numbed him up and I gave him the, 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 the iPad to watch the video on the um, insertional Achilles tendonitis. And then I was doing my note, and then when I finished my note, I went and saw another patient, then I came back. But as I, he was listening to it, I actually saw some things I wanted to change in the video, so I'm going to make a new one. But um, the nice thing is, is then then when I came back, I did the ingrown toenails, and then, you know, usually I, I would say, oh, you know, come back, we'll deal with it another day. Well, patients, they got x-rays, they wanted to start dealing with it, and so I started a, a few things with him, and I'm going to see him in two weeks, and then we'll do the rest of the treatments for him. Okay, so that's kind of how I used it. worked well. Um, so just another way of using these recorded presentations. These are really easy to record. Basically, you just steal my PowerPoints. You go to Podiatry Practice Mastery. You get my PowerPoints, and as I'm making new ones or editing them, um, you can see them. You can just download them, tweak them as you like, and then just record it. I use um, StreamYard, but you could just as easily use Zoom and just record it, and then you download it into your iPad or whatever you're using. I tried to have them go watch it at home, and they might do that, but a lot of people don't uh, actually go home. Uh, the other tip is um, I, I've been using uh, for a long time, basically it's like a little prescription pad, but it's basically, it's a treatment, my, my, my treatment protocol. And it's very similar to these checklists that I use. And so every patient leaves with this. It has their name, it has their what diagnosis, when I'm going to see them back, and kind of what, what we're going to do. So the way I, I use this treatment pad is I... Um, I uh, I, I check what I did today, and then I circle what I'm going to do next time. So they kind of know that next time I might do an ultrasound, next time I might do shockwave. And then on the bottom, if I'm recommending shoes, I actually write down the name of the shoe. And then when they go to the shoe store, I have them show them that that piece of paper. And Or when they go to physical therapy as well, it shows them that paper. So the physical therapists are, are more aware of kind of what I want, what type of physical therapy treatments I want, and, and keeping my name front of front of line for them. And so there, it gives them more value for this piece of paper than just a piece of paper. What I used to do is just give them a piece of paper and they never did anything with it. But now I tell them to show it to the shoe store and show it to the physical therapy. So just these little nuances as I'm learning to be kind of more efficient. This saves me time uh, because otherwise it's just overwhelming for patients. They never remember what you say. Like they leave and they say, oh yeah, he said I was fat or, or something else like that. Um, they can't really remember with all the information that you talk about. And so this is a really streamlined way of doing it. They can they can do it. Um, I will, I don't think I've uploaded in Podiatry Practice Mastery this, but I will certainly upload it. And uh, what I did is I just made my own and I gave it to someone on Fiverr to, to lay it out for me for like five or 10 bucks. And then I, I found someone on Fancy Hands to print it for me. Basically, I hey, find an online printer and I printed these. And once I finish this, you know, whatever series that I have, then I'm going to make little tweaks to it and make it again. So if that's something you're interested, if you, if you, you can just send me an email, Don at Podiatry Practice Mastery, and I'll send you my template and you can just make your own. Okay? But all these resources are on Podiatry Practice Mastery. Okay, guys, uh, have a good day. Bye bye.